pandemic. More than 790,000 people have died, with nearly 33,000 deaths added in the past month alone. Public health experts say the Delta variant is still causing a majority of cases. But as Delta dominates a wave of new infections, the Omicron strain has now been detected in at least 20 states. And scientists have new data on Omicron. Nikki Batiste reports. Tonight, the CBS News Bureau in South Africa has learned the Pfizer vaccine may only offer a partial shield against the new Omicron variant. An early study by the South African scientist who first detected the variant shows Omicron's ability to evade the Pfizer vaccine is robust but not complete and that a booster shot could help stop infection. Today, Dr. Anthony Fauci said based on preliminary data, Omicron appears to be highly contagious and have a much higher probability of reinfection. Symptoms reported so far don't seem severe, but he stressed it's too early to draw any conclusions. But news of the new variant seems to have boosted the vaccine effort in the U.S., with the most people, 12 and a half million, getting a shot since May. And as COVID cases are rising in 33 states and hospitalizations are increasing in 25, many are wondering whether or not to cancel holiday gatherings. In the face of Omicron, what's your advice to us? What should we do? So I'm weighing these same questions as everyone else. What I'm telling people for now is make sure you're vaccinated, make sure you're boosted if you're eligible, and consider using rapid tests before in-person get-togethers to help decrease the risk of infection. In the face of Omicron, public health officials continue to stress the importance of getting vaccinated. Tonight, nearly 25% of Americans have yet to get a first dose. What keeps me up at night around COVID is the number of people who have not yet gotten their vaccine. It is absolutely our best way out of this pandemic. Scientists here in the U.S. are also studying vaccine effectiveness against Omicron. Dr. Fauci says we could have those results in about a week. Elaine. Nikki Batiste, thank you. For more, let's bring in Dr. Ali Raja. He's an ER physician at Massachusetts General Hospital and a professor at Harvard.